Today I will talk about curating Lithuanian art in the 90s and the formation of different notions of contemporaneity in exhibitions. And I'm particularly interested in the way Soviet and post-Soviet temporalities were presented in exhibitions of that period and the relations that were envisioned between them by curators. And uh, I view curatorial efforts as a substantial contribution to creating different configurations of Soviet and contemporary that also have an impact on current evaluations of Lithuanian art. In her recent book, Lithuanian scholar Erika Grigorievicina analyzed the reception of Soviet art in post-Soviet Lithuania. She claims that at the beginning of the 90s, the term contemporary was used to define the art of the 60s and the 80s, created by the middle and older generation of Lithuanian artists who were still active at the time. During the course of the 90s, they were competing with representatives of young generation for recognition, prestige, and symbolic capital. Grigorevichina resumes that the older generation has lost this competition and their ever gradually became conservative and anachronistic part of the local art discourse. I would also add that among many other reasons, this battle for contemporaneity was lost due to the ways the art of the Soviet period was represented by exhibition curators. Despite the fact that they had profound knowledge of art history and its methods of analysis, images of the contemporary they formed quickly became anachronistic in the rapidly evolving art discourse of the 90s. The first Lithuanian exhibition curators were art critics, some of them already established, others just beginning their professional careers after studies in the Vilnius Academy of Arts. They actively participated in the art historical discourse that was also undergoing profound changes. Art historian Toyana Rachunite has noted that the processes of formation of art history in post-Soviet Lithuania began at a time when the international art discourse has already announced the end of history and the death of author. She writes, quote, The end of history has touched Lithuanian art history as a gentle and refreshing breeze that did not bring radical changes. From the end of the 80s, one could notice the renewal of terminology, interest in the previously unanalyzed banned during the Soviet times, or otherwise unpopular areas of art. Critics started to analyze the context around the, work of, the works of art, structures of imagination and thought, end of quote. These changes, especially the interest in previously unanalyzed topics, were also crucial in the emerging curatorial discourse. Most of art critics viewed Lithuanian art history as a continuous process that was interrupted by the Soviet occupation. However, it did not stop artistic development. Artists invented specific creative strategies and imagery that were viewed as compatible with European artistic trends. So in the end of the 80s and early 90s, art critics and curators saw their mission in making up with interrupted history of art by revealing European dimensions of Lithuanian art of the Soviet period and making it an integral part of contemporary culture. Equipped with carefully developed original exhibition concept, curators had to unveil new layers of contemporary and Soviet art that were invisible or intentionally hidden from the untrained eye of the viewer. Therefore, they would also create the value of works of the late Soviet period and establish the links between the Soviet and contemporary epochs. One of the main instruments for an implementation of all these important tasks was formal analysis of artworks. The first exhibition of this kind, and this is the first ever curated exhibition uh, in Lithuania, uh, was Myth in Contemporary Painting. It was curated by outstanding art critic, writer, and teacher Alfons Andrushkevichus. And this exhibition was devoted to contemporary Lithuanian painting that is created from the late 60s to the late 80s and featured well-known male artists with less known or previously unseen works. According to curator, all the works were unified by mythical thinking, meaning that artists were employing myth to solve the main existential problems. 
Andrushkevich's interpreted myth in two ways, as a certain genre, recognizable through style and imagery, or a specific way of thinking that organizes the structure and narrative of the painting. He analyzed painting using methodology of structuralism and grouped the works in the show according to his findings. For example, myth of the creation of the universe was illustrated by Lina Skytenes painting, featured on the cover of the catalog, which you can see on the slide, uh, or the work by Antanas Martinaitis was featured in the section of the show devoted to myth about cosmic cycles that tell the stories about historical developments of humanity. I will not go into more details on the structure and content of the show, but will rather evaluate what view on contemporaneity it constructed. What was understood as contemporary in Lithuanian painting of the late Soviet period? Andrushkevich's idea to unveil mythical structures behind the paintings was corresponding with other cultural processes of the time. There was a growing interest in mythology in Lithuania. Many books on Lithuanian folklore or ancient beliefs were, by important authors such as Algirdas Gremas or Maria Gimbutas were published. They aimed at showing peculiarities of Lithuanian culture and unveiling its universal and timeless meanings that would connect them with European history. Exhibition Myth in Contemporary Painting also aimed to show that Lithuanian painting of the late Soviet period is concerned with timeless universal questions and thus has a European dimension. At the same time, the idea that contemporary artists are not concerned with here and now but escape to the mythical realm demonstrate their specific ideological position. Art historian Daiva Tsitvarene has noticed that in the end of the 80s and early 90s, Lithuanian artists were undertaking ideology of the autonomy of art. It manifested itself in looking for cultural roots in European past, avoiding direct references to political, social, and cultural situation. She writes, quote, myth was a metaphor for non-existent completeness that could not be realized in present time. It was embodying the demands that could not be satisfied. It would let the artists who were appropriating the discourse of modernism feel as if they were creating an alternative to the Soviet cultural model and participating in the universal sphere, end of quote. So placing mythical thinking at the core of Lithuanian contemporary painting, Andrzej Kavitsos was indirectly suggesting that Lithuanian artists of the late Soviet period were resisting dominant ideology. So being contemporary meant creating a coded visual language that has connection with European art history and remains resistant and autonomous to social and political spheres. The discourse of resistance to the Soviet regime by appropriating a modernist paradigm was dominant in Lithuanian art criticism and exhibition practice from the late 80s up to the middle of the 90s. Notable example is an exhibition, Human Signs, Sculptured Drawings, Photographs, also from 1988, curated by young art critics Alona Lubita and Rasandrushita. They selected a panorama of works by established and young Lithuanian sculptors with a name to show the development of Lithuanian sculpture from the 70s to the late 80s. According to this exhibition, it, graduated, it gradually developed from concrete forms to abstract signs. This harmonious view was accompanied by drawings made by sculptors and photographs of young artists who captured the fragments of their everyday surroundings. Curators claim that their interpretations are based not only on formal analysis, but also on the spirit of the age, which they captured in the title of the exhibition, Human Science. So the notion of contemporaneity was again framed as formal innovations in the works of artists of different generations. They created metaphorical and abstract visual language that was meant to indirectly voice the concerns of the living times. These presented examples of the first curated exhibitions aimed not only to write Lithuanian history of the late Soviet period, but also to connect the departing Soviet era with the rapidly changing present. For the art to become contemporary, that is to represent present rather than the past, it had to be de-Sovietized. 
This desovitization was executed mostly by formal analysis of works, revealing their ties with European artistic trends. Connections with European art was viewed as essential in constructing identity of Lithuanian contemporary art, writing the national history of art and integrating Lithuanian art to the international art discourse. The outline tendencies of curating can also be traced in the exhibitions of the first part of the 90s. However, there were already attempts to present late Soviet and post-Soviet or contemporary art in one exhibition. In other words, to present discursive view on contemporaneity by showing that it consists of different temporalities. For instance, the first Soros Center annual exhibition, uh, which was called Between Sculpture and Object in Lithuanian, curated in 1993 by its director, Reminta Jurenite, sought to demonstrate Lithuanian sculpture's evolution into object. She presented key works by prominent Lithuanian sculptors of the older generation and works by young artists who were still studying or just graduated from the Vilnius Art Academy. Yet Curator did not provide the clear definitions of term sculpture and objects, two key words that had to help to construct the narrative of the show. Instead, she stressed the historical continuity of sculpture tradition in the works of contemporary sculptors. Thus, the exhibition presented the category of contemporaneity as a specific artistic style of the post-Soviet period, which was not marked by distinctive innovations and was not autonomous in the sense of ideas and forms. She interpreted the works of contemporary artists as resuming the creative strategies that were suppressed in the Soviet times, and thus envisioned contemporaneity as yet another period of development of form, rather than the discourse with various artistic agendas. In the second half of the 90s, the attempts to construct the notion of contemporary were more diversified, and many of them focused on the new forms of artistic expression. An outstanding example was also Soros annual exhibition of 1995 called Mundane Language. It was one of the first group shows um, of contemporary art in the public spaces of Vilnius that presented site-specific works. It was curated by Al uh, artist Algis Lenkalis. He claimed that the aim of the show was to connect contemporary art to the social environment, that of a city of Vilnius. 14 artists created works for the specific spots in the city that they have chosen themselves. They became sort of new signs or comments on the historical change from the Soviet to the contemporary. And one of the highlights of this show was the installation Coming or Going with a question mark, I made a mistake, <laughs> by sculptor uh, Gedimina Surbonas. He has placed mirror cubes on the heads of the Soviet sculptures erected in the early 60s on the Green Bridge in the center of Vilnius. This work commented on the unclear references of the post-Soviet epoch that were solidly grounded on the past and yet looking towards the uncertain future. Most of other works were also either putting attention to the abandoned spaces of Vilnius that reflected the historical changes or witly commenting on the unclear future or evaluations of the past. As noted by art critic Laima Krivita, mundane language did not in fact speak about mundane things, but rather on quite heavy um, historical issues or existential topics. Nevertheless, this show attempted to present different temporalities that inhabit the public space of, of the city of Vilnius as well as artistic attempts to deal with the past and present. The artworks became a part of the public space. Some of them, like this uh, Gedimina Surbonas installation, also a part of public discourse on the Soviet heritage. This exhibition attempted to construct the other view on the contemporary. Unlike previously mentioned Raminta Yurenita's show, mundane language did not highlight the continuation of the modernist way of thinking or national traditions in the works of contemporary artists, but declared abandonment and rethinking of this tradition. It considered the contemporary as a discourse created by artists reflecting the current issues of the present, its artistic and socio-political agenda. 
Until the late 90s in Lithuanian exhibition practice, this discursive view of contemporaneity coexisted with historical approach that suggests to see it as a new global period of development of art that started in 1989. The exhibitions which introduced the newest art trends also approached contemporaneity as a new historical period in the development of art, yet emphasized not so much its connection with the earlier periods, but the new means of expression, which enable artists to convey their subjective perspective on the changed reality and the challenges of globalization. The symbolic end of the Soviet period in art and artistic practices of contemporary period were introduced by the Contemporary Art Center exhibition Lithuanian Art 1989-1999, 10 years. It aimed to overview the development of Lithuanian visual art in the 90s. Uh, the exhibition featured work by 75 Lithuanian artists of different generations. According to the curators, this work had actively contributed to shaping the discourse of Lithuanian contemporary art and aroused the critics' interest. Many of them had previously been shown at the Contemporary Art Center or produced specifically for their shows in that institution. This also reflected the institution's role in shaping the language of contemporary art. The quantity of works of traditional art and the works that employed new means and methods of creation, as well as separate display of them, created quite clear distinction what is to be considered as contemporary. One part of the exhibition displayed traditional genres like painting, sculpture, and graphic art. And the other one uh, presented the key examples of non-traditional and new art, video installations, new painting, and objects. Although the declared selection criteria were quite subjective, the exhibition nevertheless drew a fairly clear distinction between old, Soviet, and modernist, and contemporary art. The latter employed new means and methods and was conceptual, intertextual, and intellectual. It included but not only locally but also globally relevant issues and emerged out of close interaction between artists, curators, and institutions. And to summarize, I would like to state that curatorial practices in Lithuania from the late 80s and throughout 90s were very important in constructing the notion of the contemporary. New artistic practices that emerged in the 90s made it evident that formal analysis is not sufficient to evaluate and interpret the contemporary artworks. They are more than static signs that represent the epoch or the struggle for autonomy to the political and social realm. On the contrary, they actively participate in this realm. Moreover, the interpretive gestures of the first curators were not taking into account a verbal discourse produced by artists themselves, were often ignoring the context of appearance of the artworks, or unifying it to general statements on the difficult historical circumstances of their creation. With developments of art and curatorial, curatorial practice, it became evident that collaboration with artists is essential for curating, and artists are able not only to illustrate the curatorial concepts, but also create them together with curators, and thus produce diversified and original content of exhibitions. Thank you. <laughs>